Welcome and good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I'm Lunar D8. And I just want to ask a question. Have any of you out there watched any harem animes? Great, it doesn't have to be about harem animes. You know, what animes do does everyone out there like? I like Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. I like Dragon Ball Z. And of course, you guys can talk about whatever video games from any system, whether the NES, SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, and I even mean back to PlayStation 1. And of course, N64, computer games, movies, music. But, in general, heck, you guys could even talk about how much you hate your job. <laughs> Main point being is this, harem animes. Have any of you actually watched any? If you have, what did you like about it? Was it the music? Was it the art? Was it the drawing style? The voice acting? Was it the story? And of course, a lot of people would say the personalities and fan service. I've always enjoyed the Tenshi Muyo series, but Tenshi is a lot like Gundam, that there's a lot of variety the way the series works. For example, Gundam has Gundam Wing, the original Mobile Suit Gundam, which is like there's four different versions of that. There's G Gundam. There's even an SD Gundam that had a bunch of chibi stuff, but I didn't really like that one. Same thing's true of Tenchi, but it's all actually much closer. Like, But it's just that it started off as Tenchi Muyo as the OVAs. And this is the one you know where this is the true, like this is the most canon version of the Tenchi series. And they went as far as the fight with uh, Professor Clay. In this version, Tenchi basically has Dragon Ball Z levels of power that by the time you finish this series of Tenchi, they're literally like punching, like throwing a punch and a third of the Earth is dead. Like half of the planet is just gone. You just said a third. You'd have to see the picture to understand. Anyway. Or they're like, all of a sudden a blink of eye can like jump from orbit of the earth to like jupiter and saturn like it gets a bit ridiculous so and the level of technology is just anything the writer wants to exist now that being said i also felt that out of all of it i really did like the tenchi versus kagato fight in the original tenchi muyo the music for that was incredible plus you know tenchi you know, using the wings of the Light Hawk. Now, in this version of things, you know, there is no Kione to be around Mihoshi. And later on, there is a character given the name Kione, but it's a completely different scenario than the Kione that's a police officer that is Mihoshi's partner. It's like a completely different scenario. And in this one, you know, it's as insane out there as possible and everyone's got incredible powers and there's aliens and royalty and advanced sci-fi but i'd say the biggest thing that probably appeals to anyone and i'm not limiting this to male or female gender you know you can enjoy a harem anime regardless of what gender you are but i'd say the biggest thing is weebs those of us that are weebs Granted, yes there's lots of people that like anime, and sometimes that's referred to as an otaku. Nothing to be ashamed of in being an otaku. But, and I feel like weeb, when it first came out, was seen more as a derogatory term. And I feel like as time has gone on, the term weeb has garnered more acceptance. And it's more so people just accepting, like, yes. I'm somebody that really likes anime, who is very passionate about just everything about the genre and the culture of it, and perhaps, you know, may not have the greatest social life. But then again, maybe that'll change in time. I've never been to an anime convention. I'd like to go to one one time. One thing I never really understood, though is the idea that people would go to an anime convention and smell bad. Like, I've never been to one, but I find it kind of hard to believe that somebody would go there 
and smell bad. Because I'll say this, I take 15 showers a week. I like taking showers. Think of Vegeta standing in the rain in Dragon Ball Z, and that's me. Except, you know, I can't shoot lasers or fly or be strong or look strong or any of that. But, like, I, I was a kind of person who had, like, the, the Bruce Falconer CD soundtracks of Dragon Ball Z. How I remember doing calculus work when I was in high school while listening to Vegeta's hyper, you know, training in the gravity chamber theme. But, granted, I can't do any of that shit anymore. Took calculus physics. I can't remember any of that shit. I, I, I'd be lucky if I could do basic fucking math. Hell, I took three years of Spanish back then. I can't remember any of it. <laughs> I can't remember any of it. But that's besides the point. I What was the point? What was the point? Fuck, I can't remember. That's why I should write something down instead of just coming home, cracking open a Pepsi, and just talking to my computer. Fuck. Uh, I was talking about harem animes, right? Oh yeah, Tenchi. Like I said, I always thought Tenchi was a great series. Though you guys might have other harem animes you'd like to recommend. Though, in general, like I said, can I just accept I am a gamer, I'm an anime nerd, I'm a weeb. You know, a weeb being somebody who's very passionate about anime to the degree that otaku is no longer a significant or satisfactory explanation. It's kind of like the band Rammstein. One of their songs <coughs> is called Zenzukt. And the meaning of that is intense longing. But it's... It, it, there really isn't an English word that properly describes what Zenzukt is supposed to mean. Same way, you can't just say intense longing. It's Zenzukt is just embodies more than that. Same thing, but again, there's no sense of getting hung up on a label or anything. I'm just trying to say this. People out there that are weebs, do not be ashamed that you are a weeb. Do not be ashamed that you have a body pillow or that there are fantasy characters in a 2D world that you think would be amazing if they were real people. No, because that's terrible, then it means I'm very terrible. So, yeah. But I'd say that does speak to something at its core, though. What is it that gets people to really like a harem anime? And like I said, some harem animes have great artwork. And I don't mean the fan service. I mean, like, just the amount of detail, or just the art styles, or the way the characters are drawn. And like, again, yeah, I'm not saying fan service. I'm saying, like, the way the faces are, the way the voices are, the voice acting, the story, music. Like, Tenchi's got some good music. And it's just... But the story varies. But I think at its core, what really speaks to a person... Who enjoys that enjoys the harem anime is this in the harem anime your protagonist is the center of attention your protagonist is got many people that the the viewer would more than likely desire as a romantic partner or even a close friend or just somebody to have companionship with or you know raw hardcore sex um, but mainly, we're just going to stick to the hopeless romantic side of this and try to keep it PG-13. You know, try to... We'll try to be, like, not so lewd with this. We're going to try to talk about a harem anime and not be lewd in any way. That's the goal. But it's just that a lot of people watch these anime like, they feel that by anyone that they would desire a partnership with, that they are invisible, or that if somebody does take notice of their existence, they're seen as disgusting or undesirable. Whereas the protagonist, he's not invisible at all, 
and all the people around him that are taking notice of the protagonist see him in a favorable light. They see him as desirable. So at its core, what the weebs, what all of us want and desire, and what draws us to the harem anime is that we are very badly starved for affection. That we feel very lonely, we feel invisible, worthless, undesirable, disgusting, or just inferior. We feel like nobody would want us and that we're basically either ignored or ostracized. And in this situation, we're able to envision ourselves in a scenario where there are people actually vying for our attention. People who respect us. People who actually hold our lives and our thoughts and our feelings in high regard. Who actually care about, you know, our lives. Actually care about what we did during the day. What, you know, how we feel. You know, what our dreams are. You know, and that's, like I said, at its core, is it's, it's a bunch of, like, the viewership of a harem anime is a lot like the viewership of a lot of the VTubers out there. It's just people that are very starved for attention, affection, and most of all, appreciation, kindness, respect, or even just feeling accepted or safe or loved. But at its core, since the easiest way to put it is, it appealed like the VTuber stuff or the harem animes. These things appeal to people because people at their core are starved for affection. They're starved for, like, a lot of people watching these animes, I mean, can't really remember the last time they hugged a human being other than themselves or a pillow. And a lot of these people just feel very isolated. And you actually have a situation where there's all these people. And the characters in a harem anime will be very affectionate. And actually very seeking to please the protagonist. And actually care what he thinks. And actually try to get the protagonist's approval. And I mean, I'll say this. When was the last time... Like, especially if any of you out there are really, have enjoyed a harem anime, say, Tenchi, and you really, really enjoyed it. I mean, how often do you remember somebody being affectionate to you? How often do you remember somebody actually seeking your approval, your attention? Somebody who would actually miss you? So I think that's at its core, like what's appealing about the harem anime is just the person would, like the protagonist is respected, cared for, and is at the center of all this attention and affection. So, but that being said, the original Tenchi stuff, the Tenchi Muyo, you know, like Ryoko's in that tomb. In the shrine, and while shoes on Kagato's ship. Whereas in, but like I said, they didn't go all the way in that story. They stopped after Professor Clayman. Then they went to Tenchi Universe, where they sort of downgraded Tenchi from being like a powerful DBZ character to just being like a space Jedi, but toned down. So, like, not. Imagine like 10% Anakin Skywalker or like just a fraction of the high ground of Obi-Wan. That's basically, he's, he's good at a sword, he has a lightsaber, and he has a couple little bit of slightly superhuman abilities, but not enough to be able to, like, Tenchi and Tenchi Muyo could probably conquer the planet if he chose to. Tenchi and Tenchi Universe... With resources, he probably could, but more than likely, yeah, he'd get his ass kicked by Thor. So that's the best way to put it, is this. 
like Thor or Obi Wan or Anakin Skywalker could definitely kick Tenchi, Uni- Tenchi Masaki from Tenchi Universe's ass. But all of them together wouldn't stand a chance. Even Superman wouldn't be able to beat Tenchi Masaki from Tenchi Muyo. But Tenchi Universe, you know, Keone's in the story, and she's actually partners with Mihoshi. Ryoko's never been locked out of the Masaki Shrine. Instead, Ryoko's just wandered around as a space pirate. And Washu was the one in the shrine. And Kagato, rather than being the individual in a mid part of the story for them to fight, he's actually an usurper to the Jirai royal family. And while Tenchi is a descendant of all that, the level of technology is much more believable. Air quotes, believable. Also, for Tenchi Universe, that version of the story... They made like three movies based off of that world building situation. And after that, we went to Tenchi in Tokyo, which at that point, there's no fucking aliens or very minimal. And Tenchi's just a normal guy who works at a shrine. And he's like dating a girl in Tokyo. The others, and like, we're sort of getting past a backstory situation with that. And it's, he's, it's, it's much, much more down-to-earth for a Tenchi series. Out of all of them, it's the most realistic, air quotes. I believe they also made a movie based off that. Now, of course, there are lots of doujins and mangas and extra story bits, and even stuff that was never released outside Japan, but well, I'm not going to talk about that stuff. I'm not going to talk about stuff that was never actually released. Or, you know, not really readily noticeable. Anyway, then we had the rest of the original Tenchi movie, which is like the canon of the story. Which, you know, culminated in the fight with Z and the fight in outer space and Lady Tokumi and everything. Plus introducing some characters that would wind up being apparent or noticeable in, you know, Tenchi Muyo or GXP. So we finished that, and then we went to Tenchi Muyo or GXP, which is like, it's about Tenchi's younger cousin, Sena. And his adventures. Then Tenji War on Geminar. Eh, it had some stuff which with a person who's like Tenji's son. So it takes place in quite a bit in the future. And there's some very questionable choices that take place in that anime. In terms of just things that did, I feel, get a little cringy. And then you had AI Tenji, which is sort of like a celebration of an anniversary of things. But it's just like, it wasn't so much cringy as like, there was a lot of stuff that in previous seasons of, you know, the normal Muyo universe or Tokyo or even GXP that were a little bit more subtle, a little bit more subtle. A lot of AI Tenchi Muyo was more overt and just, and I mean, that makes it very different. And like, there's a lot of things where I'm like, oh, huh. But it was still interesting. I still enjoyed it. But if I had to rank them, I would certainly say that I enjoyed the original Tenchi Muyo series the best. The one that's canon. The one where, you know, Tenchi has the, the wings of the light hawk. And the music is, like, really fucking kick-ass. <coughs> now, we'll say this. Second would be Tenchi Universe. Third, maybe a tie between Tenchi and Tokyo and Tenchi uh, GXP. Next would be AI Tenchi, and then the very last would be more on Geminar. Just because there were some very questionable choices made in that series that I felt were a bit cringy, if not a little uncomfortable. But, I think I would definitely recommend the original Tenchi. I, I, I'd, I recommend watching all of them, but honestly, if I had to recommend just one... I would say the original Tenchi Muyo, where you know Ryoko's in the shrine, Washu's on Kagato's ship, you know we got the Wings of Light Hawk, Professor Clay, Lady Tokimi, all that stuff. And if I only could recommend one other, it would be Tenchi Universe, 
with the three movies that were made of it. But, like I said, and of course the song Dimension of Love from Tension Universe is a very great song. Of course, I like the music from Tenchi, you know, getting us starting to use Lighthawk Wings against Kagato in the original Tenchi Muyo. I feel like that was, if not just in the musical score, I feel that the overall tone and feeling that you get from hearing that music of, you know, Tenchi's fight against Kagato when he starts using his Light Wings Lighthawk, it feels very reminiscent of Ultra Instinct Goku. But of course, Tenchi Universe, well, actually, that Tenchi Muyo stuff came out, what? The 90s? So, like 30 years ago or some shit? But yeah, I just wanted to talk about a harem anime. I don't know why. All oh, right. I'm an anime nerd. But like I said, I don't understand how people would want to go to an anime convention and smell bad. Because in general, I like to smell good. Like, if you want to know what I smell like, there's a cologne called Zaro. A Z Z A R O. And specifically called the Wanted Collection. It's a, it's in the shape of a glass cylinder that you would have out of a revolver. The smaller sizes have a, a five shot, and the larger size is a six shot. Well, technically six cylinder revolver. And it's basically just a glass thing that looks like the revolver out of a gun. But it's called a Zaro, the Wanted Collection. That's what I smell like. But I imagine if I ever went to an anime convention, like, I'd want to wear extra of it and maybe reapply it. It's just, I l would prefer to smell nice. But yeah, if you wonder what I smell like, that's what I smell like. I smell like Azaro, A-Z-Z-A-R-O, The Wanted Collection. I don't know. Like I said, this is why people are supposed to, like, practice something or write stuff down, because if they don't, they start just rambling on, or forget what the fuck they're talking about. But yeah, I'm just saying, I'm suggesting the Tenchi series to everybody, and well, I want to hear from you guys. You know, what do you guys think of the Tenchi series? Are there any other animes? And like I said, it doesn't have to be a harem anime. It doesn't even have to be anime. You can talk about video games, whatever. Like, what do you guys like to watch? What holds uh, like a special candle to your heart? I'm just saying, what do you guys like? I want to hear from you. Bye.